In this video, you are going to learn how you can see yourself to be seen in a video clip in Premiere Pro. And we are going to be using an effect known as a turbulent displays and some other effects. So stay tuned to the end of the video so you can learn how you can do this on your own. Before we start creating this effect, we need some certain things to make it possible. We need two video clips. The first clip which we are going to remove the background and the second clip which is the background without the main subject. I used the roto brush tool in After Effects to remove the background. And if you want to know how you can use the Roto Brush tool in After Effects, check out the video down in the description to get the full tutorial. So after removing the background and finalizing everything, I just added the video clip here and gave it a drop shadow to match up the clip in the background. So after that, you need to set the area that you want the effect to start. So this is my area here. And I'll select my shape tool and draw a shape covering up the entire subject. You can use the pen tool to adjust this so that it covers up the entire thing. Then I'll just resize this shape layer with a graphics layer to match up with my clip below. Then I'll select the anchor point and position it at the center. Make sure that my playhead is at the very start of the graphics layer. Set the first keyframe for the scale. Move somewhere around here which is at the end. Set in the second keyframe. And back to the first keyframe, I'm going to set the value of 0. Right click on it, then choose ease out. And for the second keyframe, I'm going to select Ease In. You have a smooth animation. You look for the Track Made key and add it to your video layer. That is the layer without the background. For the Track Made value, I'm going to set this to Video 3, which the Video 3 is this graphics layer here. Then make sure that you choose Reverse. You add in the turbulent displays on top of the graphics layer. And for the amount, I'm just going to increase this until I have a shape like so. And then for the size, I'm going to increase this too as well. Something like this. And when you're done with this first turbulent displays, you set in the second turbulent displays and make sure you place it above the first turbulent displays. Move your playhead to the very start of the graphics layer and then keyframe the amount. Go to the end and set in the second keyframe. Then you increase the amount. Let's say somewhere around this, um, somewhere here. So you show your playhead at the center so you see what you're working with. And for the size, I'm going to set it to about, let's say, 5. You can play around with this size until you see that it's okay with you. Then we're going to remove these hat lines by increasing the complexity amount to about, let's say, 10. And then for the evolution, we are going to set in the first keyframe for that. Then we'll go to the end of our graphics layer and set in the second keyframe for our evolution. Then you increase the evolution amount so it makes the animation to be more random. So after adding all of this animation, this is what you have for the start. So that's what you should be aiming for. Next, we are going to add in a glow to the effect. But before adding the glow effect, we are going to duplicate these two layers. So you select the two layers, hold the Option key if you're on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, then drag this up. Then I'm going to readjust this so that this video clip, my video clip will be at the top. Then this will be in the middle. Then selecting this top clip, I'm going to delete the track mat key. And I'm going to add in a track mat key to the graphics layer. And for the mat value, I'm going to set it to video 5. Then I move down to a city shape property. Then I remove this fill value and give it a stroke. And for the stroke color, I'm going to give it a burning color. Something like this will be good. And I hit OK. You can play around with this stroke weight to see that it match up with what you're, you're going for. So for me, the value 50 will be okay. So after doing all of this, I'll select the two layers that are duplicated. Right click on it. I'll go to Nest and I'll give it the name Glow just to keep everything organized. Then I'll add in the VR Glow to the nested layer. And for the Luma Threshold, I'm going to set this value to 0. And for the Glow Brightness, I'm going to set this all up to, to 10. That's the highest value. And same thing with the Glow Saturation. Increases to its highest value. Then, for the Blend Mode, I'm going to set this to Linear Dodge. And you can play around with the Opacity. Now, everything is looking good. But we can improve on this Glow Intensity. That is, we duplicate this nested layer. Then we add in the Directional Blur. Then you can increase the blur amount until you're satisfied with it. And that, my friend, is how you can see yourself to be seen in a video clip in Premiere Pro. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. To implement what you learned in the video, and leave your feedback down in the comment section below, and I'll be there to always read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, keep editing.